looking at a live picture of the Las Vegas Strip as New Year's Eve revelers pack the street in anticipation of not only the new year, but the biggest fireworks show Las Vegas and perhaps the world have ever seen. Tonight, we have top story team coverage for you of America's Party. This is News 3 Nightside with Jim Snyder and Nina Raditich. Good evening and Happy New Year's, everyone. Jim and Nina are off, so we're the lucky ones out here <laughs> atop the Rio. I'm Kendall Tenney. And I'm Beth Fisher, and the truth is we do feel pretty darn lucky. We've got perhaps the best view in all of Las Vegas. That means you do, too, because you're right here with us. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are going to bring you and your family the best views of New Year's Eve 2001, heading into 2002 right here in Las Vegas. We have crews all over the Strip to bring you the festivities live. Tom Holly and Captain Greg are up in Sky 3. Now, Steve Krupe is at the Fremont Street Experience, where some 35,000 people are expected. But before anything else, we're going to go down to the Strip with Gerard Romalo. And Gerard, what are the crowds like right now? Well, Kendall, the anticipation is building out here. The crowds continue to grow as they have all evening. Take a look now down on Las Vegas Boulevard. You're not going to see any more cars down there, only people on foot. Obviously, this is the place that people want to come to ring in the new year. People have come here from all over the world, and they've come for a variety of reasons. And we drove 20 hours straight through. We got here this morning about 5:30. Call it an unexplained phenomenon, or maybe it's just sheer madness. You know, the hair's one of the most important parts. It falls right after the clothing. But people love Las Vegas on New Year's Eve. And where are you from? I'm from Japan. Okay. I'm from Australia in Sydney. Talk to me about why you decided to come to Las Vegas. Because there's nothing going on in Utah. Only in Las Vegas can you bring your own beverage and witness so many unusual sights. There was some guy down on Flamingo right in the middle of the street just screaming at all the cars going by, Happy New Year! It was obvious he was a little... He was a little off. Three sheets to the wind, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of unusual sights, have you seen Elvis Presley anywhere? No. Oh, he was down there. No, he was down there. Oh, he's he's so lonely, baby. baby. Yeah, he's in the bathroom right now, but I think he's coming pretty soon. Go Big Red! Go Thank you. Thank you very much. much yes, from the patriotic... God bless everybody in America! ...to the downright insane. You'll find it all here on the Strip as people look forward to a happy new year. Viva! Viva! Yeah, we've seen quite a few Elvises out here. It is a very exciting night out here on the Las Vegas Strip. We're going to be coming to you live all night, but right now we want to turn it over to my colleague Steve Krupe, who's down in the Fremont Street. Steve. Gerard, the party on Fremont Street is in full swing. The crowd is wall to wall. The lights on the canopy have been going for hours. And down on ground level, they tell us they were hoping for a crowd of about 35,000. It's a little less than last year, uh, from what I can tell, but uh, still a huge crowd for America's party. Here's a quick look at how the party's been going so far. You can't beat downtown, uh, downtown Vegas for uh, New Year's. You can't do it. You're from Canada, but you're still partying for America, right? Oh, yes, for sure. Oh, this is awesome. This is fantastic. I, this is, I mean, the show that they have here with all the lights is just incredible. As it is all over Las Vegas tonight, security here on Fremont Street is extremely tight. Guards here at the entrance gate are giving each party goer a very close inspection as they come in, but it doesn't seem to be putting a damper on the party spirit. What are you looking forward to in 2002? Just a fresh new year. Finish off the Taliban. You know, finish, get, get, get Osama. Peace and harmony. Peace and harmony. That's what I wish for everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to the whole world. A whole lot of uh, screaming, a whole lot of singing and dancing going on here at Fremont Street. And at the bottom of the hour, Las Vegas Mayor Oscar Goodman will make his New Year's Eve proclamation to the huge crowd out here. So that's it. Live from Fremont Street, I'm Steve Krupe. Beth and Kendall, back to you atop the Rio. Steve, thank you very much. And you know that man in your story who said the whole world would be watching. He said, Happy New Year to the world. Well, that's not too far off. Locals will be watching. Tourists will be watching. But so will people via satellite 
in 11 different countries. Yeah, and we've heard it referred to as America's Party. And you talk to the people at Grucci Fireworks, and they say this is going to be the largest fireworks show the world has ever seen. So let's take a look at a map now, and we'll talk a little bit about what we can expect when the fireworks show gets underway. It's going to last 7 minutes and 11 seconds. It's going to start at the north and south end of the strip, and a 10-second countdown will take place. And during that, you will see fireworks moving toward the middle of the strip, and when they get to zero, it will reach the middle of the strip, and that's when the big fireworks show is going to get underway. And it's going to be shot off from 13 rooftop locations, as well as ground locations that are going to shoot the fireworks 800 feet in the air. And again, we've said this before, but this is going to be the best seat in the house. And in anticipation of this uh, fireworks show, the strip, or at least getting onto the strip in your car, is going to be impossible because it's shut down. Absolutely. We just want to remind you that, of course, we'll have live coverage um, starting uh well, it's 11 o'clock right now. We'll have live coverage starting at about 11.45 and taking us on through the midnight hour. So stay right here for the absolute best view. Although, it, it, we might be hard-pressed. Tom Holly may have the best view. It would be hard to argue that he yeah. does not have a tremendous seat. And, and you've been up there before to watch the fireworks show. It has to be a great thing, Tom. It really is. And, of course, a couple of years ago for the much-heralded Millennium uh, show, there really wasn't too much going on. But last year it was hard to beat. And I guess the plan is to beat it this year. We've got a great seat here, and you can see the row of hotels down Las Vegas Boulevard. And come, on, come midnight, we're going to see fireworks coming from most of these, as well as some locations on the ground. We've already seen some shots of the strip itself packed with people. And you can see there is an open area in the middle. This is where emergency vehicles can get through. And also, it's presumably going to stop some of the damage we've seen in past years to the strip beautification project. But as we get over towards the center of the uh, busiest part of the strip, down around the Bellagio, the Barrage, Flamingo Road, you can see traffic getting progressively more busy. And I'd say it's probably at its most jam-packed right at the walkways at Flamingo Road of the Strip. Now, there is some teeming humanity for you right there. And, of course, there is no north-south travel in between Tropicana and Sahara, except for the Desert Inn Super Arterial. You can use that to go up and over I-15 and underneath the Strip. But the roads are pretty much closed down here in the heart of the resort corridor. That will remain the case for at least another hour, and we'll certainly keep an eye on that. Reporting live from Sky 3, I'm Tom Holly. Back to you. Tom Holly, thank you very much. Now, you can't tell from the aerial views, but the experts are predicting there will be about 2% fewer people here in Las Vegas this year in the pa than in years past. However, considering what's been happening in Vegas the past few months with a lot of our hotels empty, it's really not that bad. Not bad at all. And I know there are going to be so many people here. They're projecting, you know, some 300,000 or close to that anyway. I was driving up from Los Angeles over the weekend on Saturday. It took seven hours to get here where normally that's a four-hour drive. Yeah, it is going to be crowded by all standards. And you can imagine police will be out in full force to night on the strip making sure that everybody has a safe and a happy holiday. Metro will have approximately 1,000 officers on the strip and 200 corrections officers, 60 to 70 of whom will be in the downtown area. Helicopters and cameras will also keep an eye on the crowds, scanning through a sea of people searching for any signs of trouble. So lots of police officers down there tonight making sure that all of our visitors are happy and safe. And already uh, in other parts of the United States, all other parts of the United States, at least the contiguous U.S., have celebrated New Year's in New York, Chicago, and of course one of the most watched places is New York City because everything that's been going on there. half a million people were on hand and I have no idea how they uh, count these people when they're out there but that's when the crystal ball dropped you just saw it right there the ball included this year anyway tiles engraved to commemorate all the lives lost on September 11th so uh, a lot of mixed emotions going on there in the Big Apple and then just minutes after midnight Mayor Rudolph Giuliani who was on hand right there swore in the city's new mayor Michael Bloomberg and in Chicago, Illinois, a big fireworks show down at the Navy Pier. Lots and lots of people piled in down there. The final seconds were marked by a display on the Navy Pier Ferris wheel. And that's how folks in Chicago greeted the new year.
We should tell you that people, not just here in the United States, but obviously people in a whole lot of other countries have already welcomed in 2002 as well. Yeah, some eight hours ago now or something like that. London uh, celebrated, I guess it would be seven hours at this point. <laughs> London celebrated the new year and we showed that to you on our four o'clock news and all over the world. Uh, people are getting into the spirit of things. the stroke of midnight from Big Ben, revelers cheered and raised glasses of champagne. There was tight security around the square amid fears of a terrorist attack, but the atmosphere was generally festive. Police did, though, chase one young man who broke through a barricade to try to reach uh, Trafalgar Square, which, of course, is famous for, for its fountain, and police had that area blocked off. That's what you're looking at there, them tackling that one guy. But you know what? Other than that, a great, safe New Year so far across the world. In Paris, Paris. There we go. People rang in the new year on the Champs Elysees and at the Arc de Triomphe. The past two years, New Year's in Paris has been ushered in by fireworks at the Eiffel Tower. But this year, French officials decided against that in the wake of September 11th. But you know what? Doesn't look like it uh, slowed the French down any, does it? Well, it's nice to see people celebrating. Yeah. In, in light of everything that's happened, I think people are ready to turn the page and get ready for a new year and hopefully a, a much happier year than when we, the one we've just experienced. And the countdown is on uh, right here in the West. Western United States and especially up at South Lake Tahoe. It should be beautiful up there. So of course we're going to take you live up there right now or live up there in just a minute. That is still ahead. Also New Year's celebrations that included the Olympic torch. But first we want to take you back down on the strip with a live picture from the Tropicana Hotel Casino. Our New Year's Eve coverage continues next here on News 3 where news comes first. You're watching Southern Nevada's number one choice for news. This is News 3 Nightside. The party's underway. You're looking at a live picture of the Las Vegas Strip. Compliments of Sky 3. The New Year's Eve revelers have packed the and unless you've already left your house, don't bother. Just sit back, relax, watch it on your couch because we have a great shot of it here from the Rio as well as all of our cameras all across Las Vegas. You know, it is New Year's Eve, uh, but the Olympic torch continues to make its way towards Salt Lake City. Yeah, let's take a look. feet of snow, the Olympic torch made it as part of the New Year's celebration in Buffalo, New York. The torch was used to light an Olympic cauldron while fireworks exploded just before midnight. Buffalo City officials said the torch would have been carried even if it took snowmobiles to do it, and that wasn't too far out of the realm of possibilities. They've had some seven feet of snow there. It is just incredible. They had that hot streak for a while, and the Northeast was unseasonably warm, but boy, oh boy, winter has arrived up in Buffalo, and Dr. Jim has been tracking that. He's also keeping a close eye on our fireworks weather here. Yeah, how you doing, Dr. Jim? Hey, I'm doing great, and here in the studio, it's a little lonely in here. You all left me, but uh, that's all right, because you know what? It's nice and warm in here, too. Well, we're having some pretty nice weather out there right now, and I think that trend is going to be continuing. Now, for tonight, fireworks, hey, weather fantastic, a little light wind, skies are clear. What more can we ask for? Here's a look from Sky 3, and Tom, what are we looking at this evening? We are looking at a lot of people on the walkways here. Check out these pedestrian walkways at Tropicana and the Strip. These four of them are jam-packed. Now, that compares to the ones at Flamingo Road and the one at Spring Mountain Road that don't have anyone on them. They've been shut down, but apparently the police didn't see any problem with keeping these particular walkways over. And Jim, as it gets on into the evening after midnight, once the people start to head for home, that's when the cleanup crews move in, and here they are, just waiting for their chance to go at it. They're down at Russell Road, but their job is still a couple of hours away. Right now, everyone's in the mood for partying, and Jim, it looks like the weather is shaping up pretty good for it. Boy, you're certainly right about that, Tom. Uh, weather is cooperating just perfectly for us. We had a chance for some showers early this morning, but then those showers moved on out of here. Here's a look at our current conditions right now. Clear skies, 48 degrees out at the airport. There's no wind. We're talking about a wind anywhere from zero to five miles an hour right now. So just enough to help blow the smoke away a little bit after the show tonight. 86% relative humidity and 44 degrees for our dew point. Things are looking great not only for uh, tonight, but for tomorrow. If you have any outdoor plans, great forecast for you. Here's a live look now at our Wells Fargo WeatherNet station over in Green Valley. It's uh, 47 degrees. South winds about two miles an hour. So just a slight breeze out there and 67% relative humidity. Temperatures today were just a 
little bit above average for this time of the year. Not by much though. We made it up to 58 degrees. 46 was our low this morning. Air quality overall was good. Record high 74, record low 18 degrees. Temperatures right now across the region, not too bad. In the 40s across the board from Centennial Hills to the Strip in Henderson. 48 degrees at the Strip right now. That's not too bad. Of course, that's a bit cool if you're going to be out there for several hours anyway. Temperatures uh, for the rest of the southern part of the state, 39 over in Pahrump, 29 in Mount Charleston right now. Boulder City, 44 degrees. Mesquite, 45 degrees as well. So we're all looking at cool temperatures, but nothing that unusual for this time of year. 30s up in Winnemucca, Elko, Ely, Tonopah, 40 over in Reno, Sacramento, 51 degrees, Salt Lake City, 30 degrees, and 43 right now in St. George. As we look at the national picture now, today we did have some showers that uh, moved away from us, and you can see most of that moisture now pushed it off into New Mexico. Little, little light showers up around uh, Salt Lake City, just uh, west of Salt Lake City. Now you see a lot of moisture, you see a lot of showers off to the west, but you know what? Most of that's just not going to impact us at all because it's going to dry out through the mountains. As we take a closer look at this, you can see the few showers up around Salt Lake City. See these showers here? Again, they're kind of tracking to the north anyway. So this impulse may bring some showers around Reno tomorrow, maybe up near Winnemucca, but none of that's going to make it down here to the south. Great forecast if you're going to have any outdoor plans. And it looks like this. 20s for Mount Charleston for tonight, 40s for our high. Light winds, partly cloudy skies for tomorrow, so a little more cloudiness, and then we're going to see some more clouds after that. Now over at Lake Mead, 42 for the low, 63 for the high temperature, water temperature holding at 60 degrees, and again, light winds for tonight as well as for tomorrow. And our forecast right here in Las Vegas will be around 40 degrees for our low tonight, 58 for the high tomorrow, so I really don't see a major change in the forecast. Maybe a little more cloud cover tomorrow than what we had today. And then we're going to see more clouds in the forecast, maybe some showers after that. So here's the five day outlook. Not too shabby after we ring in the new year with the baby new year there uh, tomorrow. Then we're going to be seeing a lot more cloud cover Wednesday and then some showers possible on Thursday. Now when I say possible on Thursday, I think again we'll see a sprinkle here or there. Overall, most of us probably won't get anything at all. And then Friday and Saturday, we're back to the partly cloudy skies with temperatures still holding in the 50s all week long. But the good news is for tonight at least, the weather's cooperated so if you're going to be out, and in fact people who aren't going down to the strip, if you're going to head outside just to see the fireworks, you definitely take your jacket with you and gloves might not be a bad idea either. For now, let's go back out and talk to Kendall and Beth some more. Yeah, take it from us. The jacket, the gloves. Gloves aren't a bad idea either. <laughs> I have a top. question though. Kendall, top of building. Kendall, are you wearing one glove? Am I wearing what? <laughs> I saw the one thing happen in there. It's like Michael Jackson. Just, just yeah, curious. Yeah, well, I had to be able to turn pages, but now I'm back to two gloves. But thank you for pointing that out, Dr. Jim. It's all love. It's always good for you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Jim. Well, a lot has happened um, here on News 3 and here in our community the past year. Not just what happened in New York, but a lot of local stories, too. So coming up in this newscast, we'll take a look back at some of the stories that made the headlines from the Desert Inn implosion to the Margaret Rudin trial. But first, uh, let's take another look at the Strip and the party going on the Strip as our New Year's Eve coverage continues right here on News 3, where news comes first. joined by Kendall Tenney. We're here on top of the Rio where you can probably hear the party's really getting going. Yeah, I think there's some music playing here. And obviously our focus tonight is here in Las Vegas along the Strip on the Fremont Street experience. But another hot spot in Nevada is South Lake Tahoe where they are also celebrating tonight. Yeah, you know, it's really good for our entire state when any part of our state is packed with tourists tonight. And take a look at all these people at South Lake Tahoe. They are also expecting quite a fireworks display down there over the lake. And, and I don't mean to be discouraging to the people in South Lake Tahoe, but their fireworks show is going to pale in comparison <laughs> to the one here in Las Vegas. It you know, will. The Grucci family is putting on our fireworks display, and they are promising an incredible show. They're, they're calling it the best in the world. The world's largest, they say, and so we'll uh, see at the stroke of midnight, actually 10 seconds before that, what kind of show we can look forward to. It's going to last 7 minutes and 11 seconds. One thing we wanted to do before we continue with our coverage of this New Year's Eve is take a look back at the year 2001. So many stories 
which took place. And of course, the one that everybody's going to remember took place on September 11th. A lot of stories, though, locally. And so we wanted to take just a little bit of time to um, look back at 2001, the happy and the sad. This has been the best New Year's Eve, and I just couldn't be more pleased with what's going on. Everybody who is in this great city of ours is going to have the best time of their life. The jury in the in the above entitled case find the defendant guilty of count 20 possession of controlled substance a felony the defendant is remanded the custody of the las vegas metropolitan police department Oof. well this is this is huge because you go hit on the only one that i'd ever root for on the track i've never rooted for anybody else except for his son and, and, and his team card those who knew her well say she may have been a wife five times over but another role comes first. Chaos and betrayal. Welcome to the world of Margaret Mason Rudin. We're relieved that uh, she's in custody. It's been a long, you know, ongoing process. This door is closed on McVeigh. Uh, it's been six years uh, since my son's death and the death of 167 other people. I'm glad he's gone, and it's wonderful. people jump out of the first building and then there was a second explosion and all sorts of pieces of the building were coming off the building I'm sorry I'm deeply saddened by what has happened today it brings me great pain to see our country suffering Many people died, were hurt, or are mourning today because of an act of hate. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America ask you to please keep everyone in our country in your hearts tonight as we strive to make things right. God bless America. On the biggest day of bombing yet, American warplanes put Taliban troops in their crosshairs. Now is the time to draw the line in the sand against the evil ones. on the mind of everyone, especially those in mailrooms across the United States. Attacking one of Osama bin Laden's cave and tunnel systems from the ground and with precision airstrikes. The U.S. military is attacking Taliban forces with a vengeance, using cluster bombs and AC-130 gunships. After weeks of incessant bombing and gunfire, a deal to surrender Kandahar, the spiritual center of the Taliban and its last stronghold in Afghanistan. He's a lovely man. He was, a, he was a unassuming, quiet, uh, you know, great musician. Uh, just just a, lovely, a lovely man he was. most memorable things about 2001 for us is all of you the viewers you have cried with us this past year and so thank you for tuning in tonight to celebrate with us it's really important that we celebrate the future absolutely I think this is a uh, part of the healing process mm -hmm. that will go on for a long time when we come back we're gonna continue our New Year's Eve celebration coverage as we take a look right now at the Fremont Street experience with some 35,000 people are expected this evening stay with us our coverage of New Year's Eve continues next on News 3 where news comes first The final 
of 2001. We are live atop the Rio Hotel and Casino with a great view of all the fun. Yeah, and we have views all over Las Vegas, all along the Strip, for what the Grucci family is calling the world's largest fireworks show ever. It's going to be starting just before midnight. We're going to have complete coverage of that. As we continue our coverage this evening, let's go down to the Strip and see what's going on right now with Gerard Romalo. How you doing, Gerard? Well, we're hanging tough out here, Kendall. The excitement just continues to build out here on the Las Vegas Strip, and the crowds continue to grow as well. Take a look. This is Las Vegas Boulevard. The crowds are even thicker than they were about 20 minutes ago. They're not moving around quite as much as they were, and that's mainly because there's just no room. Now, a little bit later tonight, I'm going to attempt to actually go down into the crowd myself. You're probably thinking I'm crazy, and yes, I am a little bit crazy, the way that you'll be able to spot me is I'm going to be wearing this gold hat right here. And I know a lot of people are wearing these hats out there, but I'm going to do my best to uh, try to make myself noticeable and uh, give you live reports from the ground. But right now, let's go out to Steve Coopy, who's live at the Fremont Street Experience. Steve? Gerard, I like the hat. The party here is continuing on Fremont Street. The band is just finishing up. That is Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. The crowd is wall to wall, and they are uh, calling this uh, the world's largest outdoor nightclub tonight with a huge crowd. The uh, big countdown is going to occur on the canopy up there. They'll have fireworks in here as well. And of course, all the big fireworks, the really big ones, are going to be on the strip for a look from high above. Let's go up to Tom Hawley in Sky 3. Uh, Steve, we're still a half an hour away from seeing the fireworks begin in earnest, but we've just seen some tests here a couple of moments ago. You can actually see the smoke trails here. These came off the top of the Treasure Island, and now we're seeing some interesting colors coming out at the Bellagio, where they have the show going on right now. And it uh, looks like they're coloring it up a little bit, maybe mixing some fireworks in or just getting some interesting uh, uh, colors in the lights coming up from underneath as well as some reflections. And everywhere you look, it's a light show. Even out on I-15, these are just emergency lights, but they add to the general flavor with NHP and Metro closing down some division. entrances here and also the cleanup crews and the maintenance crews. Everywhere you look, it's lights flashing and a real sense of Just excitement here, radio, waiting for the big like fireworks show, division. which is not too far away. Let's send it back to the top of the Rio and Kendall and Beth. Thank you, Tom Holly. We should tell everybody at home the Grucci family is putting on this fireworks display. They assure us it is unlike any other fireworks display in the world. They have some fireworks that are unique to their company. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some that are going to spread as far as two football fields in the sky. So they're going to be beautiful and large at the same time. And just a few moments ago, when Tom Holly was telling you about the test fireworks, everybody up here got really excited. Obviously, a lot of anticipation <laughs> along the strip. We are ready, and we'll be back in just about 15 minutes to bring you live coverage of New Year's Eve 2001. And we go out to Jay Leno. We'll see you. This is a News 3 special report. Everyone and Happy New Year. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Fisher. And I'm Kendall Tenney. We are atop the Rio Hotel Casino as we continue our New Year's Eve celebration coverage. And we're going to start off tonight on the strip. We're going to go to the Fremont Street Experience. We're going to go up in the air with Tom Holly. But first, Gerard Romalo live in front of the Flamingo Hotel. Yeah, Kendall, I told you I was going to do this, and I'm still not sure if it's such a great idea, but you know what? I'm having a good time anyways. I've got Jamie here with me, and Jamie's actually from Tucson. Jamie, have you ever been out to Las Vegas on New Year's Eve before? Yeah, I've been here several years ago. Uh, how you doing? Okay, has it changed in that time? It's changed a lot. I don't remember them closing the street off like this. But... What, what do you think of all these crowds? I think it's great. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> well, we've still got some time until the new year. Are you planning to count down along with everybody else? Oh, yeah. I'm here with several of my friends. we got about eight of us here, and we're just partying away. Eight of you here. Are they in this crowd somewhere? Have you seen them any time recently? Well, yeah. <laughs> recently. I don't know if I'm going to find them again. Happy New Year, brother. Fair enough. Jamie, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to Thanks you. for joining us. You know, this is a great time down here. We've been talking about 300,000 people all week long, and, and now I think I finally understand exactly what 300,000 really means. You know, we're getting uh, boxed in a little bit here. We're going to send it over to Steve Krupe, who's live on Fremont Street. Steve? 
Gerard, you've got a lot of people out here, but it is wall-to-wall -wall partiers here on Fremont Street. Take a look right now as America's party is in full swing. Now, I've covered a lot of New Year's Eve events, and this crowd is big, but by no means the biggest, nor is it the most uh, wild and crazy. People are having fun, but the uh, festive atmosphere is definitely toned down just a little bit from what we've seen on a typical Las Vegas New Year's Eve. So look at that huge crowd of folks out there. They're singing, they're dancing. As the tunes continue right up to the countdown, the canopy will be alive with uh, fireworks and lights, and we'll bring it to you live. Let's go now high above to Tom Hawley in Sky 3. Steve, a couple of minutes ago, we saw Gerard Romalo wading out into the crowd just to show you a bird's eye view of what he was dealing with. Here is the News 3 Space Link truck, and that is where Gerard is in the crowd, and you can see he is not alone at all. A lot of people out there, and as we go past the Eiffel Tower, we can see tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people up and down Las Vegas Boulevard. It is just jam-packed. I think this is the epicenter right here at Flamingo Road in the Strip. Pretty solid all the way down to Tropicana, and also a solid line of people all the way up to Spring Mountain Road. Over the past uh, 20 minutes or so, we've seen several test shots for some of the fireworks. So apparently they, everything looks like it's in order, and we've heard reports of the crowds getting really excited when those test shots go, and that is just a small taste of what we'll see in a few minutes when the real thing starts happening. One of the best views in town for it is high atop the Rio Suite and Hotel and Casino. A side I got to know well over the past couple of months, and that is where Kendall Denny and Beth Fisher are right now. Let's go to them. All right, and we are getting ready as we are three minutes and 10 seconds away now from 2002. This is a fireworks display put on by the Grucci family, and some of the fireworks will be two football fields in length. And we're talking fireworks from 13 different rooftops from Mandalay Bay all the way north up to uh, the stratosphere. And actually, the Fremont Street experience is part of tonight's party as well. And what's going to happen about 10 seconds before midnight, they're going to start on the south and north end and then move in toward the middle of the strip until the strike of midnight, and that is when the big fireworks show begins. It's going to last seven minutes and 11 seconds, and you can, you can see here on the map the locations from 13 different rooftops. There will be fireworks shot off, and you can see the little red dots. Those are some of the buildings where the fireworks are going to be shot, and there are also ground locations as well that are going to shoot the fireworks some 800 feet into the sky. And listen, you know what? This is uh, supposed to be the biggest fireworks display in the world. That's what the Grucci family is promising, and word has spread in a big way because 11 countries will be watching our fireworks display live via satellite. So not just folks here in Las Vegas and not just visitors to Las Vegas, but people from all over the world will be enjoying our celebration tonight. Well, listen to some of these numbers, and it helps you understand how large a celebration or how large a fireworks show this is going to be. It took 64 pyrotechnicians, 32 computers, and right here atop the Rio, Rio we have the central computer that is controlling the whole thing. And so it is a huge production. It took eight days to set up. It's all computerized, the entire uh performance, if you will, and that's what the Grucci family says. This is a performance for us. This is art for us. The entire thing is computerized, and it'll all be time synced, um, and we understand some of it will be quite patriotic, so watch for lots of red, white, and blue tonight. Uh, you, kudos to Gerard, who is wading out into the crowd on the strip. Gerard, yeah, you are tonight the bravest man on the strip <laughs> to do that with a camera and everything. You know what, Kendall? I'll take that kudos. <laughs> We're having a good time nonetheless, so I've got Myrna here with me this time. And Myrna, tell me, where are you from? From San Diego. From San Diego. Hey, I'm from San Diego, too. Fantastic. What do you think of this party we're having down here? It's crazy. <laughs> it's have crazy. you heard about the fireworks show that we're going to have here? Yeah. You know, it's the world's largest. It's cool. Yeah, we're going to have fireworks that are going to be launched from 13 different casino rooftops, believe it or not. I can't wait to see it. Pretty excited. All your friends and family in San Diego are very jealous, I'll tell you what. Hey, you know what? We're going to be here. It's a good time, and uh, things are going just fine. I'm still standing, and uh, I'm happy to, happy to tell you that I am still standing. So right now, let's send it back over to Steve Krupe on Fremont. Well, here you see 20 seconds until midnight, and our cameras are going to pull out, and you're going to see some of the fireworks that will start just about 10 seconds before midnight. Enjoy this show. It's going to last 7 minutes and 11 seconds. We're just going to stop and enjoy it with all of you, so we'll see you in just about 7 minutes and 11 seconds. Happy New Year, everybody. Let's count down with the crowd here atop the Rio.
Mix 94.1. part a beautiful display and we noticed around town there were other fireworks displays at other local hotels so it was really beautiful the panoramic view here to see fireworks all over the city of Las Vegas yeah you know Gerard Romalo was down on the strip so we're gonna check in with him now and make sure he's still standing <laughs> after the big fireworks show Gerard can you hear us at all I can hear you just a little bit, Beth. The problem that we're having now is that, of course, everybody's wanting to move now. They saw that incredible fireworks show. Now they're wanting to get on and uh, get to other locations, like, like this guy right here, that's sure. What an incredible performance, though. Probably a different view from down here on the ground. We were looking up the whole town, and you can see out here, a lot of people still in the partying mood, still having a good time. Just happy that we're now into 2002, celebrating the new year. <laughs> Beth Kendall, we'll send it back to you. I think you We're coming back up here. Yeah, we're messing with hats. We're having a good time. We don't need party makers. We've got several hundred of them behind us. Yeah, you got a lot of people behind us having a good time. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Can you see the crowd here? Up on top of the Rio. Yeah, we'll get out of the way a little bit here. Bouncing around there. <laughs> well, we can't hear a thing up here. I don't know if you can. But we want to wish all of you a happy new year. And thank you so much for joining us tonight for our coverage. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. What a spectacular show. And we wish all of you a very, very happy new year in 2002. We're going to go uh, to Steve Krupe, who is at the Fremont Street Experience, the northernmost part of uh, the celebration. Steve, you probably can't hear us, but take it away, my friend. Yeah, Happy New Year, Beth and Kendall. Uh, Fremont Street is still buzzing. The music is going. The people are dancing out here. They didn't have a very good view of all those fireworks that you saw. They saw somewhat of a different show in here with fireworks actually launched underneath the canopy, small bursts in addition to the light show and all the music going on. So it is quite a party here on Fremont Street as well. But I bet the, be the best view in all of Las Vegas was from high above ground level in Sky 3. Let's go up there to Tom Hawley. Tom? Steve, a very interesting show, I'll tell you that. It was great to look at the fireworks, and now we have kind of a second show, the smoke show, if you will. Here is the beam from the Luxor trying to cut through, and of course the different hotels with their different colored lights provide kind of an interesting show, and the spotlight's coming through as well. And all over Las Vegas Boulevard, the heart of the resort corridor, you got a lot of this hanging smoke here, because as we heard earlier, not that much by way of wind, just a very light breeze maybe to push this out uh, later on, but right now you've got the different hanging smoke areas from the stratosphere in the north all the way down to the Mandalay Bay in the south and especially get some of those orange glows and blue glows off the different lights saw some of the green coming off the MGM actually that's almost completely obscured by smoke from our perspective and the Luxor beam just trying to cut through there it is beautiful in its own way but I'll tell you we are still recovering from that fireworks show of just a couple of moments ago some spectacular views from up here in sky three and I know they had some great views from over there at the Rio and the voodoo lounge let's send it back there right now to Candle and Beth hey Tom if you can still hear us how did this one compare to last year Year from your vantage point? Well, last year I thought would be hard to top, but I think this year may have done the trick. We're looking right now at some of the hanging smoke still, and it was just fantastic. And you really do get a different perspective here actually being above the fireworks. And there were a couple of times when at our altitude we were able to actually go directly over the top of some of the fireworks going up. And I just think in sheer volume, also creativity, as good as last year's uh, was, Kendall, Beth, I think this year we may have done a little bit better. Yeah to the Las Vegas Visitors and Convention Bureau for figuring out this is what people wanted. People want fireworks, they want a party. Las Vegas is known for it. And this year they tell us that attendance is only down about 2%, but when you consider what's happened the past few months, 
That's nothing. And next year, the party will be even bigger. Well, they, they have to top themselves every year. And of course, in the year 2000, what you were talking about, when we didn't have fireworks and it was the big millennium celebration, a lot of people complained and said, you know, of all places, Las Vegas should have fireworks. And this year, it had the biggest show. And this year, they told us this was America's party. And I think they proved that right. Absolutely. Partner, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, we certainly enjoyed having you with us for this celebration. Thanks so much for joining us. And from all of us here at News 3, Happy New Year! Happy New Year!